Hello everyone, I am Renown Zero, and we're back again talking about this person. Pop this popped up on my feed today. It's been trending, like Samus has been trending, as you can see on the right side there. This is one of the posts people are talking about. She's absolutely getting roasted, as she should, because you're not a real fan if you believe that Samus is trans, because she's not. This person likes to believe that because they put the word he in the manual of the game, because they didn't want you to know that this character was a female. They wanted it to be a big reveal in Super Metroid when you completed the game that it was a female, or even in the original Metroid, that it was a female. They put that in the manual, which this person says, you're reminded that Samus Aran of Metroid fame is canonically a six foot three inch tall transgender woman. No, she isn't. Media representation matters, and you got called out for it. You got context added in, that were words spoken directly from a co-creator of of this game, of this franchise. It's unlikely that Samus is a trans woman. Hirofumi Matsuko, a background designer for Super Metroid, made this claim in a possibly derogatory manner during an interview published in a guide for the game. Yoshio Sakamoto, co-creator of Metroid, has rebuked the claim. So if you're telling me that the you're going against the word of the creator of the character... Which, by the way, they don't believe any of this trans crap anyway. So you're trying to inject this nonsense into a character that is essentially Japanese. And you're going against the person who created the character, who's part of creating the character, most likely. You're an idiot. And then on top of all that, you tried to double down. Because this is where she's getting this weird information from. From, of course, the Mary Sue, which is one of the worst publications ever. That's why I'm thrilled to tell you that one of the most famous women in video game history happens to be a transgender woman. It's true. In 1994, the writers of the official Japanese Super Metro strategy guide asked Metro's developers if they could share any secrets about the intergalactic bounty hunter. Hirofumi Matsuko, who helped work on the original design that Samus Aran claims she wasn't a woman but instead or knew half. This language has its own issue with terminology used for gender in the early 90s, was as different in Japan as it was in the West, which I'd like to take nonsense and try to spew it a certain way of course because that's what these people do no for the people bringing up that the Samus isn't trans what's the point exactly the point is that you're trying to infiltrate and spreading misinformation about a character that people love you're trying to infiltrate essentially pop culture and say that this is something that it's not so this person is reply this person is also blocking replies Blocking replies, right? Hiding replies. Probably most likely getting called out on your nonsense. Sounds like a way to avoid addressing the points. Probably just as well, though, since there aren't any points you can bring. Facts are facts. You literally got fact checked, and you're trying. You're still trying, because you intend. You you go ahead and you double down. Trans women are biologically female. No, they're not. You're a weirdo. Again, you have pronouns in your bio, so no one should really take you serious. Because human brains are also sexually dimorphic, and trans women have brains wired like cis women, not like cis men. I love that transphobes have given me such immense power over their feelings. No, you got called out for your dumbass take, and you're mad about it. So you're doubling down and tripling down. And then you want to say this, transphobes, you don't even like Metroid or Samus, you're a fake fan. Me, my pile of Nintendo consoles, my copy of Metro Dread, my Samus Amiibo. Wow. You have a Samus Amiibo, which by the way, that Samus Amiibo cost me $5 to get. Because it went on sale. Because no one cared about it. You have one Metroid game and somehow you're a fan. You know why you're a fake fan? Because you literally try to say that she's a trans character and don't understand the new... You never understand... You don't understand the nuance of why the developers did what they did. This is how we all know you're a fake fan. And if you're going to talk about having a Super Nintendo on your desk, at the very least, have Super Metroid in the console so you can try a little harder. I actually own Super Metroid. I own a Super Nintendo. I've played these games. I own these games on the Wii that I paid for and beat them. You're not a real fan when, you, when you're trying to canonically change who a talk about who... A character really is. It's like saying 
it, that's like saying you love Lord of the Rings your whole life, but all of a sudden when when an Aragorn becomes black, somehow you you love it and you can see yourself now. You're not a real fan. You're a fake fan, and you got called out for it as you should. As you should. As you should. Even right here, it says a later interview with this with Yoshio Sakamoto would joke about the same quote from said interview saying that a Metroid game was as likely to come to PlayStation 2 as Samus was to be transgender. So, no. No. Samus is not transgender. Samus is a female. You, you're just an idiot. And you're a fake fan of this. You're a fake fan of, of Metroid. Like, shut your ass up. I swear, man. These people love to love to try to infiltrate a character that people have loved. This is a this is a beloved female character, like well before even Slara Croft was a was a thing. This was the first like big female character that people looked up to as a role model in a video game character that was female and she was badass. She was a bounty hunter. What's wrong with you, man? You tried and you tried to double down after you got you got called out for your nonsense with community notes and actual quotes from from the developer, the creator of the game, creator of the character. And you try to act like everyone's a transphobe. No, you're just a moron. But that's all I have for today with this video. Thank you all for checking it out. I really do appreciate all new subscribers, returning subscribers. New viewers, returning viewers, if you do like the video, hit the like button. Do not interact with this person at all. Leave your comments in the comment section down below and tell me what you think about this. Subscribe for more content. Hit the bell for notifications. Set it to all that we get notifications. And tell my post a new video. And I will see you all on the next one. Peace.